about the life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm on the ragtime red carpet. Take a look. I am wonderful. Hey, yeah. Listen, the audience here doesn't know it, but I can see that you are standing under the open sky and I have an umbrella over my head, so I pray for you for this interview. You gotta do what you gotta do to get this interview. Anyways, tell me, one day at a time. Yes. About like uh, what you to your character and all the secrets that you can tell me. Well, uh, first of all, I just saw this season yesterday, and it was amazing because it took us four months to shoot it, and now I'm watching it in five hours. The distillation of season three of One Day at a Time, and it was fantastic. I, I, I mean, I'm prejudiced because I'm in it, but I have to say it is filled with heart and soul and a lot of laughs, a lot of surprises. And uh, uh, not going to share them with us. No, no. But uh, I will say this: I do get to dance with Rita Marino. This is the second dance I've had with her on the show. Now she has won an Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony, and a Grammy. Me nothing but I get to dance with her yeah okay so I do I do background work so I know how many hours you are on set and how long it takes to film like a second of the show so I'm there with you I feel the pain yeah yeah and, and in, in, in our show the background workers had a lot of pain because there are a lot of huge parties and everything where you people have to wearing act heels. like you're eating wearing heels for 16 hours and pretending you're eating and drinking for hours. And we had to, yeah, we had to pretend like we're having a good time, even and pretend like we just got there, even though we've been there for what, 16 hours, three days. A good oh, time. We, oh, we, we do on. have good time. You know, during the individual takes, while Rita and I were dancing, so we were dancing and then we would take a break while they set up a new camera shot, Rita leaned over to me and started singing songs from Finian's Rainbow in my ear. Wow. And I asked, why are you doing this? And she said, these are the songs I used to sing my daughter when I put her to sleep when she was a little baby. And I said, do you realize I'm listening to Rita Marino sing Finian's Rainbow just to me? And this is like one of the treats of being in one day at a time. Yeah. Hi, yep. Hi, how are you? Good, you're my favorite character from Pitch Perfect, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's what? very nice of you. I'm also my favorite character from Pitch Perfect. Other than the, all those wonderful girls who are so great. <laughs> and no, Elizabeth. Yes. No, you two together, you and Elizabeth, your chemistry is amazing. Oh, yeah. Well, they, I don't know why they pay us. Uh, it's, what we do is too fun. Uh, well, actually, she's the boss. She pays us. Oh, Elizabeth go. is the producer, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us. You are just telling us you have a game show going on. In the game I do, show. yes. I have a game show on Game Show Network called uh, America Says, which I encourage you to watch. You'll love it. It's fun. You'll find yourself shouting at the television within a few seconds because you know all the answers of course you, you're better than the contestants until you get in front of the cameras and then you're terrible that, which is what all my contestants say it's like I was so good at home <laughs> you're my favorite person in real life oh isn't that great thank you you're my favorite person in real life look at that I'm so glad we found each other <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.